game we showed how our air game fuck shit up. Yeah, I'm not using these until I get her up there. I just got cocoa pebbles creamer for my coffee and goddamn it's the best thing in the world. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, tap enchant creature, enchanted creature doesn't attack during its control. So, okay, so he's gonna permanently... That's fine. That's fine, whatever. Do your thing. I am not worried at the... God damn, Google. Hey, Google, st stop. All right, it's gonna go off again in like five minutes, but, uh, I mean, I want to get rid of the bird. Let's but, yeah, hey, hey, Sparky, watch yourself. Uh, I think I'll just do this one. Your game will be three, four. You know what? I'll just fuck it. Look at that. All right. It's okay. I got plenty of life, Sparky. Plenty of life. Right, there we go. Boom. Uh, question is, does Sparky have anything to fuck with me? I'm gonna take my chances. That pause doesn't sound good. I knew it. Sparky, you little bitch. So I'll get rid of all my plus one counters. Uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take the damage. You know why I'll take the damage, you little shit? Oh yeah, so this card, right? I can play lands and cast spells from the top of my library. If I cast it this way, I pay life equal to its mana cost rather than its mana, like using lands. Um, which is fine, but I don't need to use that right now. I need to build up my life a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's gonna get blocked, but it will give it will give uh, her a plus one. You dummy! You dummy! Ooh! All right. All right. Um, I have 19. I need a little bit more. I'm going 
full attack. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. Oh, I was going to play this, but... Flying Lifelink. Whenever the Haunt of Hightower attacks, defendant player discards a card. Whenever a card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, put a plus one plus one counter on Haunt of Hightower. Thank you. This is a bad mamma jamma. Uh, no blocks. I just want to show you the power of this. Right. Boom. Ah, oh, I forgot. You're going for one land. Damn it. Well, that's game over. Uh, all attacks. Let's do it. Want to play again? Woo, 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 woo. The thing is, I have this deck in real life. The core of it. Like, I'll show you. Here. Like, I have... I have this, this... Uh, I don't have that. Um, I have this... Stop! Uh, I have... Thirst. Um, I have that. I can't remember if I have this or not. I don't remember. Um, I have these. I don't have her. I have these. I have him. I have him. I can't remember if I have her. Uh, I have him. I have him. I have him. I have him. I don't have this. I don't have that. Yeah, so... Basically, I have this entire deck, besides a few that I've got in-game. Um, so yeah, this is like one of my favorite decks to use. I do want to look at some of my other decks and put them on here, if I can uh, complete the whole thing. But, uh, let's go back and beat up. Spark you some more. And I know people are like, oh, why don't you play against real people? Oh. Well, like I say in all my YouTube videos, I'm not a sweat. I'm not a freaking sweatshop. I'm not sitting here trying to be in the world tour and all this other shit. I just like playing. Get I like playing for, for fun. Friendly competition. And when I'm going against people who literally buy all their cards, like I buy here and there, but they literally buy cards that copy a deck from people who play in the real tournaments. So it's kind of like you're playing against pros, so to speak. And it's, it's just not fun. It's not fun, like playing against somebody who just literally counters every single fucking thing that you do. So I play against Sparky because it gives me a little challenge, lets me, you know, play my deck the way I want to play it. And it's just fun. It's fun to me. And like I always say, if you don't like it, just turn it off. Don't watch me. It's fine. There we go. Child of the night. Uh, yeah. As always, Thirst will be going on her. Uh-huh, uh, ah, uh, oh, damn, oh yeah. Here we go. And I will attack with this one, just because it's not gonna die, and I'm gonna gain a plus one for her. Attack. I don't know, will it attack with this? No, it won't. Uh, no blocks. Because Sparky is a little stupid when it comes to that. 
Only when it comes to this deck. The blue deck always tries to attack with the defenders. Don't know why. Uh, I don't have any more land, apparently. But that doesn't matter. I will attack with all. He's gonna blow. Oh no. I should have fucking known. Did I lose? I lost it. You bitch, Sparky. You got me. You got me. Alright, well, good news is you don't have anything to attack with. Alright. Bad news is I'm not getting any land here. But another good news is I got another one, so. Alright. This is my last one, so hopefully she doesn't take this one away from me. There we go. I mean, to be fair, her ground game is solid. Ah, balls. Um... I'll do this one. I gain three life. There we go. And now I attack. And she's gonna have something. You motherfucker, Sparky. God damn it. It's alright, it's alright. We got we got plenty of life to play with here. You could have attacked with this one guy. Okay. Still. Still no land, which is kind of handicapping me here. Hmm. Let's see. Finally got a swamp. Okay, we'll do this. Uh, she doesn't have any cards in hand, so I will attack. But the fun thing is, next turn I'm dropping this one. No, you can attack from your zero. Okay, boom. Here we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, you can attack like you want, my friend. Just for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it. Look at that. Holy shit. Congratulations. You've done it. Thanks. Let's see. Uh, it's a decent hand. I don't have anything mons uh, creatures to put down. But I'm pretty sure I'll have it soon enough. I'm your spark. Let me show you just what you're capable of. Oh, I know what I'm capable of. But Sparky, I need you to show me what you're capable of. Hit me with your best shot. Now we're talking, Sparky. Now we're talking. No, pass. No need. No need. Uh, oh, yeah. He, but the thing is, I can't protect him. 
Uh, yeah. So, we shall wait. Uh, nope. Resolve. I'm sure my life will get somewhere near 10 before I start rolling. But... Damn it, I should have put him in, idiot. I'm an idiot soul. Uh, go here. I am not going to attack. Back in the field right now. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, so what's that? Five, six, six damage. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll block one and block one. It's fine by me. I think I'm going to play. play Defeating you will not bring me pleasure. Or will okay. it? Okay, let's see. Target creature you control gains death touch and life like to the end of turn. If it's a vampire, put plus one plus one counter on it. You may sacrifice a vampire when you do. It does three damage to any target. You may put a vampire creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. I will do this. You're doing great. Just to give him flows through you. But he can easily take me out, so no no no. Huh. This is interesting. Alright, so five of these. Yeah, well he's dead then. Um you know what? I will take this opportunity. Take them out. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. My heart is too hollow to care. They got the best of that. No attacks, no attacks. Alright, Sparky has me against the ropes. She's swinging with all she got. I really... I feel like I'm gonna have to do this. Still no attacks. I got myself off the ropes. We're now swinging. We're now swinging. Whenever I gain life, each opponent loses one life. No attacks. Well, that's unfortunate. I think I'll murder this son of a gun here. I mean, 
mean, five, six. And she has no cards, so might as well go all in, right? Take your full damage. Let's throw her out there. I think this is game over. Yeah. I think this is game set. Match. Nice job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that's where we're ended. Next time, I think I'll show you guys my flinger deck with the giants. Just give you a little preview of what it looks like. Actually, let's go to decks. Basically, it's giants. All giants, all my creatures are uh, giants, giant, 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 all these giants. And the point being this guy right here, right? So whenever he attacks, I may sacrifice another creature. When I do, it deals damage equal to the sacrifice's creature's power. So if I, you know, sacrifice him, I'll do four. But the sacrifice creature was a giant, then it deals twice that. So because of a giant, it'll be if I sacrifice him, it'll be eight, right? So I do I fling eight damage at their face. But when I have where is he at? Where is he at? Him. When I have him on the field as well, if a giant source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to the player instead. So because of the flinger, I would do sacrifice him, which would do eight damage. But if he was on the field, it would do sixteen damage because it'd be double what I was gonna do with flinger. So that's pretty much the idea behind it. Um, but I'll show it to you next time. But yeah, so thanks for watching. If you watched, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully. If you don't know magic, or if you don't know a lot about magic, or you do like magic, you had a little fun watching uh, how I put together, you know, these decks. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, man. Or female. Whatever. Peace out, y'all.